soon. Billy Joel made a big announcement today, and the announcement was that he is ending his residency at the Garden in July of next year after a residency lasting more than a decade and after selling more than one and a half million tickets. Sandy Kenyon is in the newsroom with more. A lot of people were speculating on what this big announcement was, and oh, this is kind of sad news, Sandy. Charlene, it is. The total is 1.6 million, more than 1.6 million. The first of the final 10 concerts will take place October 20th. Billy Joel's residency began with a promise that it would last as long as the demand continued. Now he's ending with his 150th performance at the Garden. Nice round number in a run that began back in 1978. In the course of this, he has set records for the most lifetime performances by an artist at the Garden and the most consecutive performances. Billy Joel plays the hits, but also dips into his vast catalog of original tunes to remind his fans of songs they might have forgotten. Every show a sellout. Almost half a century has passed since his first performance here almost five years since he played his 100th show. For the star who first came to the garden as a child from Hicksville, it is the mythical status of this arena and the more than two and a half million fans who have seen him here that has kept him going back, kept him coming back until now. I do remember the first night I played at Madison Square Garden. It was the pinnacle of of my career, my God, I'm, I'm headlining Madison Square Garden. Everybody in the world knows when you play at the Garden. It's not just New York. Everybody knows when you've done the Garden. And uh, I never imagined anyone could have a resident residency here. Uh, it's just been one crazy, exhilarating night after another. We didn't think it would last 10 years. Well, the Garden CEO, James Dolan, agreed, saying nobody thought it would be this. He added that Billy Joel would always have a home at the arena, even though the residency is coming to an end after 150 shows. Final note, Mayor Eric Adams on hand, telling Billy Joel that he listens to New York State of Mind every morning in his van as he heads to work. <laughs> David.